Okay, so last week I was down at the Salt Lake Comic Con where I was down there doing, enjoying the great Salt Lake Comic Con. That was an awesome experience. I met a whole bunch of awesome cosplayers. Some of the people I follow on Twitter. I met some awesome of the... Of the uh, the, I guess they're professional cosplayers since they had their own little tables and stuff set up. One of them that I met was, uh, that I follow on Twitter. She, uh, signed this for me. She's Ashley. And she's, uh, I guess off to another con for this week. I don't know if she's going to the New York con or another one, but she was, uh, amazing in her. She was two days um, just as this. I've missed her first day, so I don't know what she was wearing as Carnage. Really nice. Everybody I met was in costume and out of costume and in the booths. The writers, the artists. Basically, everybody there is really freaking awesome. You know, first time going to a con, I got a lot of cool stuff. Got a lot of interesting things. I picked this up. This is uh, from Regal Robot. They make these uh, Mandalorian skulls. And you can get them in different sizes. They had them in uh, in this resin. They have a pewter one. I thought about the pewter one, but like you know what, the bone's cooler. Pewter's nice, but the bone's cooler. They make them bigger. <laughs> Found a guy who makes these uh, cool little Lego minifigures with actual card backs he's uh with build a brick pretty awesome stuff picked up the Hera because Hera is cool should have had it signed because when I was there I took my black series Hera to get it signed by Vanessa Marshall she was at the con she is freaking cool as hell awesome to talk with Got a few minutes to talk with her. And I got her to sign my pop. Because, you know, if you're going to do one, you may as well do another. But with the mini Legos, I got uh, Darth Lucas. Pretty cool. He makes these really awesome card backs. You can switch the card around. I got Stan the Man. Because it's Stan the Man. Can't do much better than that. Got a really awesome Spider-Man on the back of it, but Stan Lee is just too cool. I wish he'd been there, but maybe next year, I'll try and go. I got Kenny Baker, just because it's freaking Kenny Baker popping out of an R2-D2. It's awesome. And I got my man Doom, because you can always do Doom. wish they'd do a decent Doctor Doom movie. And the last one I got was Batgirl, because it's Batgirl. And, uh, those are the minifigures I picked up. Found the Luke and Han Stormtroopers. I may open them, probably will. I haven't really been keeping these in boxes. And I found the white prototype armor Boba Fett. First, some good things and bad things about this figure. If I don't want to open it up. I did meet the great, awesome, spectacular, wonderful author, Timothy Zahn. He had an artist friend that uh, did these, uh, did this print and of Timothy Zahn in the full uh, Grand Admiral. So we were joking around because I got there was nobody else really at his booth, so I got to spend some time talking to him. We were joking that he needs to be in the the final Star Wars movie as Grand Admiral Zahn and uh, maybe have a scene with the great Mark Hamill and he was like yeah I'll do that but he signed it dated it it's a pretty cool little memento of it I also had him sign my uh, all three of my um, first edition uh, Hand of Thrawn trilogy I have to find some way to store these a little better than Ziploc bags but these three are all now signed by him, which is completely and totally awesome. And uh, 
I got to meet some great, I'm dealing with this con credit he was talking about. Between that and the flight, I'm like, oh, do not feel good at all. So, yeah, dealing with this lovely, I tried to drink a bunch of orange juice, but I don't think it really worked. Between that and the flight and everything else, coming back home, big temperature change. So, now I'm dealing with this cold. But I did get to meet and get some pictures with uh, the lovely Gates McFadden, still looking awesome. And Will Wheaton evidently wasn't feeling all that great. Everybody was pretty much told kind of just don't touch him, stay away, don't talk to him. Just uh, stand there. Walked in, she greeted me, said hi. Pretty cool. I won this ticket. If you all don't know who he is, that's my sister and brother-in-law there. Um, this is the new guy playing uh, Punisher. And I think he was also in uh, uh, Walking Dead. But he was an awesome guy. He's uh, got a great show that's starting up. He's a great, got a great character he's been working with. So hopefully we'll see more of this cool dude. And uh, there's my big fat person there. But uh, yeah, I won this ticket the on Saturday. So that was pretty cool. As you're driving to the con, it popped up on my email. So sort of like, oh, I want a ticket. That's outstanding. And I got to uh, meet and take a picture with uh, Steve Amell. I told him what a great show it was. Hope to see more. And he was like, yep, I hope to come back too. So he's, uh, I guess, wanting to stay with the character for a while, which is good. Because sometimes these guys get typecast and they don't want to keep doing it. But he seems to be wanting to keep doing it. So, And I got to meet Sean Gunn. He's supposed to do it on Thursday, but I guess something happened. He didn't get in until uh, um, Saturday. So most of my pictures got taken on Saturday, which was okay. But uh, I tried to space everything out so I didn't have to rush and do it all the same day. But it didn't really happen. But still a great time overall. I've got a lot of pictures on my Twitter. This will be going up on my Twitter. So... This is pretty much everything I got from uh, from the con. This great little skull right here is just so freaking awesome. These guys do desks and all kinds of other stuff too. So if you're looking for something cool, get hold of Regal Robot. They are licensed evidently by uh, Lucasfilm, so evidently they do a bunch of monster makeup stuff for them. So that's pretty cool. They got this cool little stand that goes with it. He's like, put it through the eyes. You must put it through the eyes to hold it in place. Otherwise, it won't really. So, pretty cool. So, I think a great haul overall and a great time. And I hope to get down there and do it again next year because I had a blast. My feet hurt, but I'm not complaining because it was a lot of fun. And I really hope to be able to do it again next year. I just got to save money because everything's expensive at the con. Actually, no, the prices actually weren't too bad for the for this stuff. But just as long as you're not buying a bunch of stuff. <laughs> but, yeah. Overall, pretty decent uh, time over that I had. So, for a first con, I am impressed. And I can't wait to get back down there and meet the other people that I follow on Twitter. And hope to start following more on Twitter. And I may not be able to go to the bigger ones like New York or San Diego. But definitely get to do the... Uh, the Salt Lake one, you know, sister lives down there, brother-in-law, so as long as they got a place down there, I can crash with them. So that pretty much is a wrap for what I've got from the Salt Lake City Comic Con. All the wonderful awesomeness that it is. Hope to uh, get back down there again. I'll see you all next time.